Hi, everybody. So, I got a comment, um, according to YouTube, ten hours ago. Um, <laughs> that was very, uh, very in-depth for the, uh, for the content of the video it was under. <laughs> and I was just gonna leave it alone, but, uh, Buddy Boy decided he wanted to... I'm sorry, they, I don't I don't know who this person is. Um <laughs> the the username is boy type, so I I don't know who this person is. I don't know what their gender is. I don't know what their pronouns are. So keep that all in mind. But this person decided they wanted to write several paragraphs to me. Um trying trying to explain something to me that I already understood. So, since this person wanted to go to so much trouble, let me, let me, <laughs> let me take time out of my day to explain to you why that was the dumbest decision you could have made, bud. Alright. Let's begin, shall we? Please bear with me. I struggle reading. Um, letters tend to screw themselves around on me, so. <clears throat> boy type 10 hours ago and this was edited and is now a highlighted comment for some reason i think you got the wrong idea about the income tracker part it's annual income not monthly i was well aware that it was annual income i can fucking read fun fact i may struggle with it but i can read basic sentences <laughs> <laughs> but you did say you're super young, so maybe everyone you know is unemployed. No! All of my friends and family have jobs, except for my younger brother. My youngest brother, I should say. Not all of them have great jobs, but my dad just got one that uh, makes quite a bit of money. Quite a bit of fuck you money, might I add. <laughs> Making f 5k a year or less means you make less than 416 a month, so that's basically 140, uh, I'm sorry, 104 a week. I'm, I already said that I get flip letters and numbers around. Max. <clears throat> the national minimum wage is 725. It should be higher. You and I both know that, but we're going to leave that alone. <laughs> So you have, so you would have to work less than fourteen hours a week every week, at lowest wage allowed by law to make less than four sixteen a month, creating five k a year. What I was saying was the minimum. I would prefer. To have a, a healthy lifestyle is 5k a year. That's what I was saying. I don't honestly give less of- I could honestly give less of shit <laughs> about what someone makes monetarily. It is what they bring to me emotionally that I actually give a shit about. I can figure out the money aspect all on my own. If somebody else wants to fin out the fin figure out the money aspect, go ahead. More power to you. I'm saying I don't care if my partner makes that much money. I genuinely don't. And I never have. So. <clears throat> the point of the calculator is that a lot of women have insane standards about who... <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't read this with a fucking straight face. <laughs> about... <laughs> Uh, about <laughs> about who they are willing to date. <laughs> uh, and I clearly don't. Which you would know if you watched the video in its entirety. Six feet tall, six figure income, <laughs> certain body type, only certain races. Yeah, there are some people that are assholes. I'm not. I don't give a shit about all of that. 
It's what you bring to me emotionally. And buddy, looking at this, you don't bring a lot emotionally, do you? <laughs> the calculator uses U.S. Census data. Really? Does it really? Oh my god, did I not read that to you guys? Interesting! Thank you for showing me a fact I already knew. To show exactly how many, I'm sorry, how much of the population meets those requirements. It, <laughs> it literally is real statistics. Bitch, I know that. I know that. I'm well aware. I know this. All of this is information I knew going into this. This calculator is still a joke. Nobody should look at this calculator and be like, oh, it's just spitting straight facts. It's statistics. Emotionally, statistics are wrong. Emotionally, statistics don't mean shit. I was going into that because I'm abrosexual. I don't give seven shades of fuck what your gender is. <laughs> what income you have, wh what your body type is, I don't care. If you bring emotional stability to me, that's what I want. If you come in emotionally stable, if you bring me the love that I think I deserve, great, you're already winning out. Like, if you, if you watched the video, you would know, but you didn't. Instead, you took the time out of your day to not only post this, but edit it. <sighs> Buddy, okay. So the percent number is the amount of male U.S. population that meets the requirements you put in. That includes gay guys. So subtract another 5%. No, do not subtract another 5%. If a gay guy wanted to date me because he respected my non-binary pronouns and my, my identity as a non-binary person, I would be okay with that. I, I would be more than happy with that. So do not subtract that 5%. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, who liked- <laughs> Someone liked my response to you, buddy. Which I will be reading after this. I'm not just putting you on blast and not telling people what I said. Um, which actually, I'm gonna pull that up, so give me just a second. There we go. <coughs> off, the f off the percentage of straight men that <laughs> meet the requirements, a higher percentage means that a person <laughs> could be easier to find. <sighs> but it was funny to see that if you are willing to date fat, unemployed, marry guy married guys, you actually have a really great chance of finding someone. LOL. First of all, assholes find me just fine. I don't need to worry about men finding me. They always find me. <laughs> what I really need to worry about is the women I'm attracted to finding me. Boy type. Because even if they do find me, we're all too panicked to actually say something to each other. So, there's that, first of all. <laughs> and second of all, I'm not mar dating married guys. I would never date married guys. You know why? Because that's fucking cheating. That's infidelity. I'm not gonna let someone cheat on their partner to be with me. I'm not gonna do that. If they were unemployed? Oh shit. That sucks. Looks like I have a job. Fuck. <laughs> like, I already have a job. Who cares? If you're un unemployed, I I'd prefer you look for a job. So that you're not sitting in the house bored all the goddamn time. <laughs> but I don't care if you're unemployed for a period of time. Because, honestly, some of the employers in my area are kind of shit. 
So I understand not being able to find a job where the, the surroundings are suitable for what you need as a person. Now, out of solidarity for, for boy type. I don't know who liked the comment. I don't know if I can see that. All I see is that I got a like. Oh. It was you. Oh, Mr. Boy type. Interesting. You have something more to say. How fun. Let's read these, shall we? I don't give a shit about money. Oh, this is me, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> this is me 16 minutes ago. I don't give a shit about money. And if you'd actually listened to me instead of paying attention to my responses, you'd have known that I'm not ignorant. I know what it would mean if my partner or I only made 5k a year. And then he adds me in his response. <laughs> At Magic Caster, I did listen. You didn't mention how much people made, or if they worked. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm trying so hard not to laugh my ass off right now. I also didn't say you were ignorant. <laughs> Bitch, you mansplained in my comments. <laughs> oh my god. Did I just get the notification that you re responded to me? Okay, anyway. <sighs> just that I thought you might have the wrong idea. Unless your friends were unemployed. Bitch. <laughs> I hit my microphone, I'm sorry. Don't assume shit. Never assume. You know what they say about assuming. It makes an ass out of you and me. But as of the moment, it's just making an ass out of you. <sighs> Listen, buddy. I don't know how you meant all of this. I don't know where it was coming from. It could have been coming from the best place imaginable. But you made a mistake. You fucked around, you found out, and you messed with the wrong one. Simple as that. So, please don't do this to anybody else, okay? I don't care. I don't, and I never have, and I never will. And everything you just said to me under that video, everything you took the time out of your day to respond to what I had to say about that calculator was ridiculous. You did not need to do that. You could have kept it all to yourself and you wouldn't be made an ass of just now. So, thank you. Don't ever do this again. Good night and have a magical evening. <laughs>